Hello everyone, I'm back today with a little walkthrough of my newest folio album. Now a while back I used the same papers, the Amazonia papers by Stamperia, to make a project for Intercraft and they challenged me to make a project using just one 12 by 12 pad of the Stamperia papers. And if you remember back, it was this memory box with loads of little wallets inside. And we managed to stretch the one 12 by 12 quite far by using photo mats. But this time I've gone for a full on album and no photo mats, but still challenging myself to just use one 12 by 12 uh, Stamperia paper pad. So I've made this folio album with a nice wrap around cover. So it comes all the way around and opens up here. So to make the most of the paper, I've sized it um, just to maximise things, but also just use some black cardstock on the back. So that meant I was able to wrap this entire thing using just one 12 by 12, including the inside of the flap. I think even the spine covers came from the same piece. So let's have a look inside. Now the Stampera papers, you get 12 sheets, but not all 12 are patterned. There are a couple of image sheets in them. So you've got to be quite clever to get the most out of your papers, but I think I've managed it here and managed to cover a lot of the papers or a lot of the cardstock using the papers to maximize each little bit. So I think I'm gonna to have to zoom out a little bit so we can get it in. There we are. So one of the papers in the Amazonia um, pad is a sheet of large six by six images like this. So you get four on a sheet. So I've just cut one just to show you where we can tuck our photos in. You can see the Amazonia papers are lovely. I love all the tribal images and the colours with all the animals and the flora. So, as I said, this is a folio album. Now, an album would have a spine here with your hinges and you'd have pages that flip over. But a folio, all the pages and pockets things are built onto the cover itself. So we're going to start off on the left hand side. Now, because we're building onto the cover, I've actually built a large pocket straight onto my chipboard cover. So the whole thing is actually a really large pocket here. So everything's built onto that then. So you can put your large documents or larger photos inside here. Then we move on to our pages. So this is the front page on the left. And this bit here is actually a pocket. So you can put more photos in here. And then I've used my Cool Cats uh, folio circle dies and the perfect circles to make my string closure. If I bring you closer, you can see the perfect circles have this nice pierce detail. So I've managed to do that on the front and back, just using the scraps to finish things off. And you can see it all ties in really nicely. And then these two flaps then are just held in place so that you can put your photos in there. And you can see that the pattern follows across, especially loving this tribal detail underneath as well. Then just close the string just by wrapping it around the circles. Let's take our Jaguar with us. So you open up the first page to the left. I can see the amazing images in this. So this reveals then a little vertical pocket. So you can put some more photos in here. And then this. I've used the Cool Cats brand closures this time. So there's no magnets for my closures here. You just twist them around. 
and it opens up and we've got another pocket you can see another of those journaling cards i forgot to say you can actually journal on the back as well so you can use them as uh photo mats and have the, the images facing up photo on the back and again we've got that pattern continuation across a lovely is it a macaw and this goes all the way across then you can see the uh, ferns and the tribal details go across so yeah so nice pocket there for quite a few little photos just close it and you twist that into place then we could open up page two and we've just got an echo here so it's just a mirror image so another vertical pocket there so you can see the paper i used here i used the other side to decorate there and then in the center i've got one of my corset closures again i've used the folio circles by cool cats now since first making this i begged the cool cats to make a die where we could cut more than one of these circles at a time and thankfully they have now so you can actually buy a die which cuts six of these circles at a time bear in mind you need um three per one or six per double when you're um having one each end so yeah so you can cut enough to do two of them in one pass of your die cutting machine now and then it just flaps open so this just stops them falling out, uh, any of your photos falling out as you can see another one of my photo mats then just placed inside and then you just close it by coming down going over coming down over the top again and uh, so i think that's just a nice detail then so your photos can still be seen behind the closure so we're not hiding any of those lovely papers and if you didn't want to unwrap it all you can actually just slide them out as well revealing that background paper so a lovely paper which really makes the most out of your decorative paper so yeah so two vertical pockets so we've got room there room behind the vertical pockets room in that pouch and in this pocket and behind there so that's the left hand side then if we move on to the right hand side again this is all built onto a large pocket so we've got room for large things in there then this is a flapped pocket so we can add some magnets there if you wanted to hold it down and then you could attach some smaller things underneath or a paper clip but also it's a large pocket so you can actually put your five by seven photos in there and you can just take them out so you're not losing any of your images and then we open it up so i didn't want any bulk here so what i've used is my cool cats five by seven uh, curved photo corners and i've just cut the slots into that then you've got a five by seven photo mat, so this is slightly bigger. So when you put your photo on, you get a nice little black border. So it means that your paper is still intact. So when it's empty, you've got that decorative element. And then once you put your photo in, you've got a nice border. But also then you can take it out and change it whenever you want. So you see none of this album has a place to actually stick your photos down it's just um, pockets and things to hold them so your photos will always just be intact then this page is just one continuous pattern going up you can see the crocodile's tail just carries on there and the tribal pattern does and these fit your six by four photos there and there okay so this is larger than six by four of course then you open it up and again we're echoing this side here with 
a photo mat using those five by seven curved photo slots. Now, if you're looking for these curved photo slots, because I know a lot of people really like them, I'll add a link in the description below this video. So just have a look, open it up. And then again, I've used the slide enclosure by Cool Cat. So another Cool Cat style. Didn't realize how many I'd actually used in this project. And this is cool because this is one of the toppers in the kit. And you just slide it down. And then it opens up. And I had to use this sloth. He was just a lovely image. So I'm glad I managed to get him in one piece there. And again, we've got this nice large pocket. But this time, it's not a flat pocket. I've actually added a little depth to it so you can actually put quite a few photos in here as so and what's great again is no magnets it just slides up and holds that flap in place and then it just closes and shuts so that is my one pad Folio. Now, I've made this a few weeks ago, but I've been waiting and waiting for the perfect papers to do a tutorial for you. And I think they've finally come. So I think I'm going to be using the Savannah. So I'll have an, the Amazonia and a Savannah version for you to follow. So I think this is going to look just as stunning as that Amazonia because it's the same sort of feel with all the tribal details and our animals. Yes, I think that elephant is definitely gonna go somewhere. I love that image just as itself, just the whole paper. And that rhino, I think he'd be a perfect cover detail because I've got that lovely tribal bit again. So again, I got this pad from Intercraft, so their online shop is intercraft.com. Really reasonably priced for their stamp era goodies as well. And they don't just stock the papers, they've got the stamps, the moulds, a load of things. So this is the page I was telling you about where you can get your photo mats with some journaling on the back. So yeah, so I think this will be the perfect pad for this one pad folio. So head over to Intercraft, have a look at all their Stamperia pads. This will work for any of the um, Stamperia paper pads they stock there. You'll be able to make this folio easily with just the one 12 by 12 pad. But of course, if you buy the die cuts and things as well, you can make extra tuck spots and things and extra details and collages on the cover. So thanks for watching. Um, if you're looking forward to this tutorial, I'd love to hear what you're looking forward to seeing. So please leave me some nice comments beneath. Hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. So find the word subscribe, hit on it. And then when the tutorial goes live, uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to find it nice and easily. So please yeah, hit that subscribe button, head over to Intercraft and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs>